Okay, Assalamu alaikum dear students. Uh, today we will solve a problem regarding geometry. This is not a very hard problem. This is a like a very easy problem, you know. Uh, we have a rectangle here. Let's uh, read the first read first the question. So in the question it is said A B C D is a rectangle with uh, A B equals to 12. So let's uh, just write which is written in the question and do the same thing for the figure and ad the value of ad is 8 so since this is a rectangle if this is ab equals to 12 we know that tc is also 12 and bc is also 8 okay and the area of the white part is 71 so you can see the white part inside the rectangle the total area is that means this white part area is 71 square meters and what is the area of the uh, larger inner square so in the rectangle we have two squares inside the rectangle uh, which uh, squares are marked as uh, black so the inner squares uh, so the larger so this is the larger inner square and this is the smaller square right and in the question it is asked that what is the area of the larger inner square where all dimensions are positive integers so the dimensions are positive integers uh, we can see 8 to 12 these are positive integers so let's uh, try to solve this question how you can do it so find let's find out the total area of the rectangle what is the area this is 12 times 8 right that means our uh, length times uh, height or length times breadth so this is equals to 96 square meter and in the question it is said that uh, the white part area is 71 so from this one if you just uh, subtract uh, 71 from 96 you will get the total area of the square 1 and square uh, 2 that means the larger square plus smaller square so let's say the larger square plus smaller square so this area is uh, 96 that means total area of the rectangle minus the white part area so white part area is 71 so if you subtract 71 from 96 i think you will get 25 so and let's consider that uh, the one side of the larger square as x and the one side of the smaller square as y so in that case uh, what is the area of the larger square that is x square i think you know it because uh, side square is the area of a square we know about it <coughs> so x square is the area of larger square and y square this is the area of the smaller square if you consider one side of uh, smaller square as y so this is equals to 25 now from this equation we can see that uh, summation of two squares so x square uh, this is an square value and y square this is also an square value right so summation of t square is also an square number or you can say this is a 25 so how many ways you can uh, get of uh, different types of values of x i think to make 25 we know uh, if you consider x as uh, mm, yeah. 3 and uh, y as 4 sorry since the value of x is uh, greater than y you, you know that since uh, the small uh, smaller square uh, and this is the larger square so the value of x should be greater than y only in that case uh, the uh, the square which uh, side length is x will be greater than the square whose side length is y so in that case you can consider the value of x as uh, the value of x as 4 square plus 3 square this is equals to 25 because we know 16 plus 9 uh, this is equals to 25 so 4 square plus 3 square which is equals to 25 so in from this we can uh, uh, do some equa equate if you equate those equations you will get uh, the value of x as 4 and the value of y as 3 okay now in the question it is said what is the area of the larger uh, inner square so we know that the inner square area is 16 so our answer of this question should be 16 okay so this is our answer for this uh, uh, problem i hope you understand it thank you very much